Hey guys, what's up? This is Stephanie. I am back and welcome back to my channel. So in the video today, I wanted to discuss PowerPoints in PA school. So how long are PowerPoints in PA school? How are they, etc. So for those of you who are interested in becoming a physician assistant, interested in applying to PA school, or those of you who are about to start PA school, hopefully this video is helpful for you guys. So primarily, PowerPoints. So obviously for PowerPoints, I get PowerPoints for every single one of my classes. Now the length ranges, some of them tend to be 25 up to 100. So it really depends on the class. For example, my anatomy class and my pharmacology class tend to have the PowerPoint. The PowerPoints are usually longer for those two classes. Specifically, I would say anatomy because it's just a lot of information. And I would say anatomy PowerPoints are my least favorite because it's just pictures. Very few do you have words on very few of the slides because most of them are just pictures. And usually that's what anatomy is, right? About learning where the structures are located, what the name of the structures are, etc. And then pharmacology is just really long also because you have the drug classes. And then within the drug classes, you have the specific drugs. And then within the specific drugs, you have the black box warnings, the interactions, the mode of actions, etc. So that's why these PowerPoints are a little bit longer. So now I'm going to switch on to the video so you can see it from my iPad. That way you can take a look at my PowerPoints. Most of my PowerPoints are in my iPad. I ended up purchasing an iPad. Um, I remember some of my classmates did not want to purchase an iPad. They were actually printing out the PowerPoints at the beginning of the semester, but then it was just too much paper to be carrying around and too much paper to be printing. So they ended up also purchasing an iPad also. So I really recommend an iPad for PA school. If you're able to afford it, it's a really, really good investment. And I'm really glad that I purchased mine. So you'll be seeing the next video through my iPad and I hope you guys enjoy. Bye. Alright guys, so this is through the Notability app on my iPad. So specifically, we're looking at my clinical medicine class, the module for musculoskeletal. So this is just a random PowerPoint for one of the subjects that we were taught in for my musculoskeletal. So as you can see, I'm going through the slides now. So just so you can get a peek of how the slides look how long they are. This one isn't that long actually. It's only 42 slides, but some of them are pretty long. Um, here's another example, uh, orthopedic topic. So you'll start with uh, usually the first or the second slide. The professors will usually have a slide with all the topics that they're going to discuss or all the diseases or injuries that they're going to discuss. And then they'll go into detail for what disease each disease is, uh, how to diagnose it, etc. So this is just an, also another example. This is for renal uh, nephrology. You were looking at the UTIs. Now my classmates, specifically one of them, she goes through this, all the slides, imagine 41 slides, and she puts everything together in tables as you can see and summarizes everything what's important into four, four papers, four pages, which is amazing and the fact that she shares that with us that's really really nice of her and this is another example of basically this, these are my drawings um, I drew this on my iPad and I'll usually go through osmosis videos which are educational videos about diseases since I am a very visual person and I'll draw and I'll write my own notes this really helps me be able to Go over the information and to also cement the information in my head and I'm able to go back and look at these notes and review when it comes down to exam time so those were my drawings and this is also another example of another slide also for my clinical medicine class um, this is for the GI as you can see some of the slides in the PowerPoints have CTs so that's why sometimes they are a little bit longer because they have a lot of stuff so now it is my pharmacology. Like I said, usually my pharmacology PowerPoints tend to be very long, uh, sometimes up to 90, 100 slides. So those tend to be very long. So this is just an example of the pharmacology slides. 
And once again, uh, my classmates do the same thing for pharmacology, is that they'll go and they'll put the 60, 70, 50 slides into tables, and they'll summarize the main points of what is important. That way you can just look at everything in a table and not have to go through every slide. So that's really good about working together with classmates because really, honestly guys, you guys need to work with each other in order to be able to succeed in PA school. So this is also another slide for my CLSC class, which was my clinical lab science class where we learn how to read um, labs, CBCs, urine analysis, etc. So this was just an example. And this is another example. This is for my patient encounter class, which is how we learn how to approach patients, how to take a, a past medical history, a history of present illness, etc. So this is also another example. These sometimes are long, not very long. So this is an example of a pregnant female, how to do a visit, office visit on a pregnant female. So this was just an example. And now we're going to go over my pathophysiology. So my pathophysiology PowerPoints aren't very long. They may be, but they're not usually very that long in comparison to pharmacology and anatomy. And then as you can see, the, the PowerPoints are very different between classes. The formats, the way the pictures are, etc. So some of these stuff, the pictures you see on there, I actually added myself. And you can see also my notes. I would go back and watch videos and then whatever I thought was important, I would go and add onto the slides, type it up, or pictures that I liked that I found online, I would copy and paste them and add them on the slides, which is one of the good features that Notability has. Now we're looking at anatomy. So anatomy is going to be usually your longest PowerPoints, and it's usually just pictures as you can see. Very rarely do you have wording. Um, as you can see here, it's very rare. Most of the slides for my classes are usually just pictures because that's what anatomy is. Like I said, it's just looking at pictures and being able to know where structures are and being able to memorize them. So here's just a few more examples. So just a quick word of advice, whenever you see tables like these, in my experience, where it has a muscle, the origin, insertion, innervation, and function, it's usually something really important. So as you can see, I also bookmarked it on the right hand. If you see the little blue bookmarks on the slides, I bookmarked it because these are important. And I also noticed that these, that these are usually on the exam. So whenever you have to know about the function of the muscle, where it originates, where it inserts in, and its action. It's, we were really highly tested on this for our anatomy exams. So I just wanted to give you a quick tip on that for anatomy. So what you're going to look at next is what some of my classmates made for my anatomy lab. Uh, we do have a cadaver lab, and in cadaver lab, you're you're, you have exams where you have to name the muscles and you have to write down the muscles. So you have your lecture exam and then you have your lab exam for PA school. So what my classmates do is that they go through the textbook and these are pictures from the te textbook. So this is something they made. They'll go and they'll copy the pictures from the textbooks and they'll make documents on notability. And then they'll write down everything we have to know and just go through the pictures and highlight whatever we need to know. So right now that's not completed yet. But the top portion, if you saw everything that was highlighted, that was, was what was on the exam and what my classmates did. So I'll use this for studying for the cadaver exam. And then on top of that, I also get these free PowerPoints that are online. I'm going to post a link. And these resemble real human bodies, cadaver labs. So these really help me out so I can visualize how they're going to look on a real cadaver. And as you can see, they're very good slides, they're to the point, specifically when it comes to the nerves. The nerves and veins, they look very different in arteries on a cadaver than on a picture. So these really, really help me out in anatomy. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching my videos. I hope this video was helpful and you guys enjoyed watching it. As always, if you have any comments for me, comment below. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.